There are about four weeks of speeches, promises and debate before the vote. CBC Saskatchewan political reporter Adam Hunter will be following all of it for us. He was at the Saskatchewan party's campaign launch announcement this morning. Adam, what was the message from party leader Scott Moe? It's been a familiar message over the last few days and even weeks, Sam, and he's been telling people again that who do you trust? That's the big message from Scott Moe when it comes to recovering the economy in the pandemic and out of the pandemic when we eventually get there. Uh, he says that's the Saskatchewan party and not the NDP. He pointed again to the NDP's record, albeit it's uh, you have to go back in the history books to look at the last time the NDP was in power pre-2007. Those are the numbers he's drawing on. He says that's their record. They're going to run, Saskatchewan is going to run on its recent record. He says that's a record of uh, almost getting to a balanced budget, if not for the pandemic this year. That's a record of growth. He was in the Harbour Landing neighborhood in South Regina. He said that this neighborhood didn't exist before the Saskatchewan party government. I don't know if it's fair to give the Saskatchewan party all the credit for that uh, subdivision being uh, being there and growing. But that's uh, the message that Scott Moe's uh, painting right now for the voters and the people of Saskatchewan, something that I'm expecting us to hear over the next number of weeks. What kind of campaign are we expecting over the next number of weeks? It's going to look different, Sam, because uh, we know that we're in a pandemic right now. Uh, there were, you know, some uh, candidates wearing masks today outside. I saw uh, Scott Moe put on a mask as he went in to meet with Lieutenant Governor Russ Morasti this morning. As he came outside, he took a mask off. Of course, all of the events to the media were outdoors. I expect we'll see more of that. That's the same case with the NDP today as they held their events outdoors as well. Uh, and we're going to hear a lot of questions on the campaign trail, unlike we've heard in the past, when usually it's about platforms and ideas and what you're going to spend, different goodies. Uh, we're going to get questions about the pandemic. Scott Moe was asked today about the issue that we're seeing in Yorkton with the outbreak declared there in the hospital and the high school. Uh, what we're going to uh, hear when, we, when he goes to the door to see if that's an issue, COVID, when people are, are, are asking uh, the, the, the leader of the Saskatchewan party and the leader of the NDP, Ryan Miley, and other candidates, uh, what their plan is uh, going forward with COVID and not just the economic recovery, but also uh, the plan is how we should be dealing with it at the moment. And I think that's something that's probably going to dominate the discussion over the next number of weeks, even if the parties want to talk about something else. Thanks so much for this, Adam. You're welcome.